this is Brian Furman from Furman's Marine, the makers of Profile Boats. And uh, we're down here in Napier having a look at the new Profile 1410D. Brian, could you tell us uh, what sort of uh, target market you designed this boat for? Uh, well, this is designed for uh, people perhaps going off the beach or not going too far offshore. I mean, the dinghy market is a very big market throughout New Zealand, uh, particularly in recent years. And uh, we've designed this one down at the Profile Factory, uh, being a pontoon boat, uh, or, or having uh, chambers. And the, the pontoon chambers, which offer buoyancy and extra flotation, come up to this side, right throughout the boat, right up to the bow, and down the other side. Uh, separate chambers, making the boat very, very safe um, and very stable. And then on top of the uh, pontoon chambers, we just have a little addition on the top where we can get some storage and so on for uh, fishing gear and what have you. So I see we've got um, an open anchor well up the bow, fair lead, uh, a seat with stowage underneath, central thwart, and one at the stern. And Brian, um, I believe this um, the centre seat's uh, movable in position? Yeah, and uh, dinghies like this, we don't have the ability to trim the boat when you're travelling. They don't have any uh, trim system on the smaller motors. So to get the boat trimmed right, we've just got the ability, if we need to, just to adjust the seat back, uh, just so that you've got the ability to move the load forward or back, depending on how much weight you've got on board, just to get the dinghy uh, trimmed at the optimum hmm. level. Good plan. And... Um... A few built-in rod holders. I guess you could probably put a few more in if you wanted them to. Yeah, rod and holders, grab handles, those sort of things are easily added if required. Yep, and sealed deck that drains the scuppers at the stern. Very nice little rig. Thank you very much. Try and keep a side on, Timo. That's it, that's it. Up, Mark. 